Hi guys, I'm Heath Manning of Manning Cues. This video is going to be on track lines. This will be my final video on track lines. And this video is going to be um, showing you how to kick the cue ball off of the short rail across from me to the side pocket. No matter where the cue ball is, whether it's up here on the rail or out here in the middle of the table or, or out you know, along this rail, fairly easy when you know, the cue ball and the object ball in line, you just go half the distance. That's what most players will do. Um, most times they'll make their hit, but sometimes they'll miss. This system will um, have you kicking the cue ball accurately because you've determined the track line that the cue ball is resting on. The first thing, like every track line video that I've done, you're going to have to give your target a value. We're kicking to the side pocket, so this is zero. As we count up the table, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Like every other um, track line video I've done as well, this is a long rail, and that is the short rail. The short rail is a direct mirror of the long rail, and you can see that the cue balls are both zero, both 10, both 20, both 30, and both 40. That's important because that is the short rail after we figure out the track line that it's on will be our aim point. So you have to know those values mirror the long rail. So let's just throw a ball out here. In order to figure that out, we've identified the values on the table now. So in order to figure that out, we're going to go to the natural track lines on the diamonds. So the first track line to the side pocket counting up is a value of 10 to 5 across from it which will bring us to zero. The second track line is from 20. Now I'm going to the diamond to the diamond. You never aim at the rail edge in front of the diamond. You will end up going long of your target. So I'm not in my cue ball yet but that is my 2010 zero line. My next line is going to be 30. 30 15. Okay? I'm not there. I was much closer here to my cue ball. So I'll come back to my 2010. So if I were to parallel shift on this line, which is not the way to do it, if I were to parallel shift, okay, you may hit it, but it's not as accurate. If I keep my angle there and come over, that gives me a value of 13 on that rail as my contact point. Okay, so let's just remember 13 just to see if it is accurate enough. So now let's find the actual track line. We're going to be at 20 to 10 to 0 is no good. Let's come up to 25. 25 is directly in the middle of 20 and 30. Half of 25 is 12 and a half. So if I am at 12 and a half from my 25, I'm to the left side of my cue ball. So I have to come back this way. So if I come back to 24, I'd have to aim at 12. And now I'm right over. So my actual contact point on that rail is 12. Parallel shifting gave us 13. One segment difference over there equals two segments difference over here. So we would miss the, uh, the ball or nick the very outside edge of it as it came by on the outside. So. I know that I can aim at 12 over there. 24 here, 12 there, 0 there. So if I aim at 12 with no English, I should come over and make my contact, which was great. So confidently, I hit that. Now, say I'm out in the middle of the table, okay? It doesn't matter where I am. I do the same process. This is 0, this is 10, this is 20, this is 30. Okay, let's put my butt on 30 and my tip at 15. I'm close to the ball. So that's my starting point. Let's come back a couple segments to 28. Now remember, there's 10 segments from 20 to 30. So if you find your middle at 25, that gives you a balance between them. And then you can more accurately, you know, you can even put four fingers in here when you're learning, you know, just to see where the segments are. So I'm going to come back two segments. I'm going to come back to 28 and half of 28 is 24 
over there, so that's no good. If I come back to 27, 28 is 14 over there, sorry. If I come back to 27, it's 13 and a half. Well, there I am. So if I aim over there at my 13 and a half, I should have the same result coming up. Now, I put a little left spin on that ball, not on purpose, but that's how accurate this is. If I would have hit that properly, it would have been good. So if I put that back on my 13 and a half to my 27, and I put, doesn't matter if it's here in the middle of the table, if I put my proper stroke on it, I come over and I make a full ball hit. But that's the difference about paying attention and being committed to your shot. It's also a very good lesson to learn. You have to be 100% committed because a half a segment out there is a full segment out here. And it can mean the world of difference between making, hitting, and missing your ball. Let's do one more. Let's put us down here on the end rail, okay? Now, we're gonna count up the same way, same routine every time. So we count up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We know that 60 goes to 30, diamond to diamond. We know that 50 goes to 25. Okay, so it's right basically between those. So if I wanted to go up to 55, half of 55 is 27 and a half. So there's my 27 and a half, there's my 55, not quite. 54 is going to be 27, and there I am. So when I aim this shot now, before I hit it, I know I'm at 54, 27, but before I hit this, because my cue ball and object ball are so far out of alignment, okay, and I've went around into the end of the table, I will require a slight amount of running English. Depending on how your table plays, you will need zero to a quarter tip of English. So I'm going to go back here now to my 27, 54, okay, get this out of my way. And when you're shooting, and I'm aiming at 27, you can look at your shaft and see that it's coming through 54, just to make sure that you're online. So now when I hit this, okay, I just missed because I used too much running English. So when I put this back on my 54 to my 27 line, I can shoot the same shot and this time I made it. But that's the difference in learning. Teaching and learning and practicing all at the same time can be overwhelming. And no matter how good you are, even when I'm doing these videos, if I'm not 100% committed to the shot in these videos or in a game, you can put too much spin on the ball. You can make simple mistakes that will make you miss, but the system works. If you have any questions on any of the track line videos that I've done, let me know. Send me a comment, and if you like what you're seeing, uh, please uh, like my videos, visit my Facebook page, or my website. I appreciate your support at manninghughes.com. Thanks, guys.